Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak um, an iPod 2nd generation or 3rd generation, 4.2.1 or 4.21, whichever it is. Um, what you're going to want to do is first go to greenpoison.com. This is only for 2nd generation iPod and 3rd generation iPod 8GB. And it has to say this, um, go to settings <coughs> on your iPod. Then go to general. Then go to about. This is how you can tell if it is um green if you're gonna download it or jailbreak with green poison. Okay, it should say on version 4.1. Then it should if you can't see that there, but it should say version 4.1. Then in parentheses 8B117, and then the model should be MC0. 8XL or 86LL. That's how you know if that is it. Um, if you didn't catch that, just go back a little bit. Um, okay, so once you've done that, figured out if your iPod is compatible with Green Poison, what you're going to want to do is if you either have a Mac, Linux, or Windows computer, um, download whichever one it is. So mine is Windows. Click on that. Then it should say open, save, or cancel um, for Windows. You're gonna know what you're going to want to do is press save. Okay, I've already done that, so I'm not going to do it. Um, then what you're going to want to do is um, um, drag your, or go to your um, documents for Windows. Go to your documents, or no, go to your screen, or your name. Click downloads. Oh, the folder is empty, but click downloads. Then what you're going to want to do is drag Green Poison to your desktop. Once you've done that, you're going to want to... Once you've done that, you're going to want to right-click on the file. Then you're going to want to click Extract to, then whatever you saved Green Poison as. Extract to what it should... the standard should be GP underscore Win32 underscore RC4 backwards slash or whatever that is. It's a slash. Go, click that, or you have to have WinRAR, you have to have WinRAR. Oh, actually, I don't know, but anyways, just click that, extract the GP, Win, whatever, whatever. Then, down here, a file should pop up, or my file popped up down there. I'm going to drag it up here so you guys can see. Drag it up here. <laughs> then, what you're going to want to do, right-click it, then click open er. then you're wanna, gonna want to click on green poison then green poison this is where you have to jailbreak um since i've already done mine i'm just gonna show you without my ipod plugged in on how to do it what you're going to want to do is turn off your ipod right turn off your ipod while it's plugged in to your computer now what you're going to want to do let me zoom out um let me try to um, I'm just gonna, what you're going to want to do, as you have everything set, press prepare to jailbreak. When it says get ready to start, um, then when it says press and hold sleep button, you press and hold that, then continue holding sleep button and hold home button. Then after the six seconds, I'm gonna let go of the top button. Let go of it. And then you should be set. Um, wait until it goes, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to finish it because if I do, it would screw up my iPod. So that's basically how you do it, even though it didn't show it. If there's a white screen and there's a whole bunch of codes running down your iPod, that's perfectly fine. It's what it's supposed to do. And if you mess up, just click try again, and then you could just restart. So guys, that's how you jailbreak an iPod. If it does not work, um, to ask me or like comment, and then I'll show you how to jailbreak it for um, um, Lime Rain or Black Rain, whichever one it is nowadays. Um, I didn't do that with my iPod because mine's a third generation 8 gigabyte, and that's just how you do it. Um, if you have any problems, just comment, um, rate and subscribe. That way you keep updated with me. Send me a private message if it's if you just just want to do that instead probably be more convenient but that's how you do it um thanks for watching guys this is touch that ipod signing out peace